He did that with a ballpoint pen? Are you kidding me? I also can't believe that worked. Oh my god, that's incredible. Today I want to talk about some artists that I really love and I think are underrated. Some of them have a lot of followers on Instagram, others don't. I'm going to start with the small ones and then we'll work our way up to the big ones that you might know. First is going to be Gina ha Hayes? Haas? Not quite sure how to say it. But she is a watercolor artist. Everything she does is so whimsical and soft and translucent. It's beautiful. Her use of color is incredible. It's so inventive. And who even knew that foraging was a thing? I did not know this was a thing that people did by hand still. It's beautiful. I want one of her books so badly. Her gradients are so smooth when it comes to shadows, her uses of colors, everything's warm and it glows. Her work is so soft and dreamlike. It's cozy and nostalgic. It makes me want to be a kid in summer. It's hazy and tender. It's so loving the way that she paints her kids and the people around her. And everything just glows with this magic. Chris Herrera does things with a ballpoint pen that I didn't even know were possible. Chris Herrera is so talented, so patient, so controlling and delicate. I cannot understand the amount of time and effort that goes into just one of his drawings. He's using a ball point pen, a ball point pen, just the simplest material possible, and making these gorgeous paint portraits with the most wonderful texture. He's so sensitive to the shade and texture that he's creating with his pen and the, the control that he has over it. Mind-boggling. Truly mind-boggling. I can't express to you what I feel when I look at one of his drawings. They're so good, um, so tender and beautiful, and the texture that he gets with his hatching, his lines, his little marks is just phenomenal. Kristen Voskort makes the most beautiful colorful, playful images that I've ever seen. She has such a confidence with laying down strokes of paint and applying one color next to a color that it's not even related to and making it work in this way that's so blocky and abstract, but she has a way of creating the form with those slight color shifts, temperature shifts. Seeing the strokes of paint going down and coming together in, is incredible. Well, I, I wish I knew as much about color and how to apply things like that and just, I wish I had the confidence so badly. And she also does these paintings where she has a line through them that's just taped so she can remove it and that, oh my god. She just has such a command of mood through her colors and composition. I am in love with these. And the playfulness, the whimsy, that unpainted line has such a contrast with the bright, vibrant colors that she uses and it creates such an energy in the work. Uh, it's so fun. Nicholas Aribe. Truly one of my idols. I love everything that this man does. He has a YouTube channel called Our Painted Lives. I will link it below. It's mostly live streams, but his paintings even, uh his low chroma paintings where it's just the s slightest shifts in value and hue are so delicate and moody and then he has these paintings where he'll outline he'll he'll make a painting and then he'll go back in with a magenta and rough in a sketch over the painting and it brings the form back into focus and that's just his underpainting. That's just one of his processes, but it's so beautiful. I love that stage of his paintings. And he has such a 
nuance and balance with his color. He makes a single color the hero of any of his compositions. So he'll have um, that magenta that punches through on other things in the final piece. And it's just so energetic and animated. And oh, I want to live in the world that he creates with his paints. It's so beautiful. I don't know what I can say about Nicholas Aribe that his paintings don't say for him. If there is a painter, only one person on this list that you follow, follow him. Watching this man paint, looking at his paintings, there is such an energy and looseness to them. I love his line quality. When he draws over a painting, it makes me melt. His underpaintings are so incredible. It's raw and beautiful. And no matter if he's working on like a low chroma or high chroma painting, it just has this depth and energy and emotion to it that I, I don't see all the time when it comes to paintings. I love having this man come up on my feed anytime I am on Instagram. It makes me feel inspired. It makes me want to paint seeing his paintings. I want to know how he did it and how, how to do it the same way. It just is incredible. Please, please, please check him out if you haven't already. The last artist you may have already followed, you may have heard of, you may have seen, it's Paul Heaston, the master of perspective. This man knows perspective inside and out, and he has several uh, talks on how to learn perspective, how he practices perspective, but his drawings and his command over it is just so incredible. He does these wonderful drawings of interiors when he's like sitting at a cafe or sitting in the living room with his family. He will draw the the furniture and the tables from his perspective and have this like fisheye lens kind of look to it because he's using five point perspective, which is not something that you commonly see um, outside of actually using a fisheye lens. And it's so beautiful and so well done. Um, he, he takes the time to draw these daily interactions, daily occurrences like sitting in his car, waiting for his kids, uh, cars that he sees across the street while he's waiting, moments in the living room with his parents and his kids, moments in a coffee shop with his friends. He, he takes the time to dissect that moment and put it on paper. And I, I wish I had the drive and the habit of drawing everything every day like this man seems to have where he's appreciating these these moments and he's sharing his life in a way with Instagram that it's not just it's not just this drawing it is the moment that this drawing was made in he, he shows his kids on the couch as he's drawing them on the couch or something like that it's just so wonderful and so attentive I wish I was as present in my life as this man is. Everything around him is art because he's looking at it and he wants to document it. And I wish I had the same drive to document everything in my life the way that this man does. And his command of perspective, everything looks so good. So those are my five artists for Instagram. If you have taken anything out of this, if you've followed any of them, or you've gone over to Instagram already and not returned to this video, go ahead and like it if you can. I really appreciate it.